Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. All right, a lot to talk about today, including some light snow tonight, a midweek storm and some action going on right now at Narragansett Town Beach. Now, this is probably not a big surprise that they had to do this. You can see police have now blocked off part of the intersection. I believe you're looking at the intersection of Beach Street and Ocean Road. Waves pretty big right now. High tide approaching over the next uh, several minutes. In fact, 915, I believe, is the time of high tide, but some pretty big waves it appears big enough and strong enough to knock over this bench right here. And so uh, just be mindful you may have to divert if you're heading down to this area. And we'll see those continued decent wind gusts. Still seeing some winds around 30 miles an hour and wave action through at least late this morning where that coastal flood advisory remains in effect. Wait and see to see if that's extended into tonight's high tide. Now this is noon time. We're going to shift gears near now and talk about the precipitation forecast for the rest of the day. Could see some rain showers here, especially by 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Not talking about a wash out and then some of these rain showers may shift over to snow showers. This is 7 or 8 p.m. Not looking at a, you know, all night snow event or anything like that, but some snow showers, bands of snow possible, and that continues overnight. Now, in terms of where we could see some accumulation and some, you know, light to moderate snowfall rates, I'd say it'd be out here across the Cape Cod Canal, Cape Cod, but even into places like uh, New Bedford, Taunton could see an inch or two of accumulation closer to our viewing area, Providence, Newport, into Rhode Island. We're talking about a coating to around an inch of snow. So right here on the edge, if you're watching us from Fall River, New Bedford, you could get into that one or two inch zone. Stay tuned. TJ has another Another update tonight for any fine tuning that we have to do to this part of the forecast. I do think any snow that does fall and stick to the ground will be over by the time we get to six, seven o'clock in the morning. So there could be a few lingering slick, slick spots on the drive to work, but anything that sticks should melt away here by 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning as those temperatures warm well above freezing. Although it's not necessarily going to be a really nice warm day, but certainly warmer than very early tomorrow morning. Looking at a morning where we have clouds, still some wind gusts in the capital city and a few showers and even flurries trying to come in from the northeast, sort of similar to what we had yesterday with a look on the radar. These, though, look like they're a little more sparse in nature, so not everything you saw there on the screen is actually hitting the ground as precipitation. It will be a mostly dry morning with a temperature of 39 in Providence, 40 Taunton, 38 right now in New Bedford, and 41 in Westerly. Recent winds between about 25 and 30 miles an hour, so they are still busy. At least they're a little weaker than yesterday, and hopefully they'll stay weak enough where some of the crews can continue to restore power to those that don't have it. Obviously, that's a huge weather story over the past couple days. 39 in Newport right now, or Tiverton Weather Station reporting 39. With that big, powerful storm still generating those wind gusts and little lobes of precipitation, an upper level disturbance dives in from the north. You can already see some snow associated with that. That will help produce some of those afternoon showers and then the two pieces of energy kind of merge together creating some of those snow bands late tonight through tomorrow morning. So looking at our forecast, it's not a terrible day to be outside, but maybe a little more gusty and windy than we'd like this morning. Gust still around 25 at lunchtime, tapering off to 20 to 25 during the afternoon. Although at the south coast, you could still hang on to some of those 30 mile an hour wind gusts. There are the potential of the showers arriving late afternoon, maybe a few spots seeing them as early as middle of the afternoon, especially here in northwestern Rhode Island. Our temp Temperatures in the low 40s late morning and then our highs only reaching the low to mid 40s likely during the 3 or 4 p.m. hour. You can see around 43 in Smithfield late tonight through tomorrow morning. Temperatures diving back to around freezing. That's why if the snow does happen to stick, you could have some slick spots on the drive to work tomorrow morning. Again, not expected to be a huge deal, but maybe needing to add a few extra minutes, especially if you're commuting over here in eastern Massachusetts. There's our situation for the middle of the week. Confidence is growing of a coastal storm, a nor'easter, probably not quite as long in duration, probably not quite as powerful, but still rain and wind likely coastal issues and potentially some snow. Stay tuned for updates on that snow part of the future cast as we find tune things over the next couple days. There's the rest of your seven day future cast. You can see generally this week spent in the 40s for high temperatures. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website.